Well, this is another one of my pet peeves. It's hybrid cars. Hybrid cars sound good, looks good on paper, they do save fuel, you know, they get better fuel economy than regular cars, but they're not all they're cracked up to be. You've got to think about the whole process from beginning to end of building one, owning one, maintaining one, and buying a used one, say for example. Well, first, of course, it takes a lot more materials and stuff like that to build one. So that means more environmental effect, like more people had to drive to work for more, to make more different parts. Uh, batteries had to be made, electric motors had to be made, all this regenerative, regenerative braking system had to be made, so on and so on. They're much more complex, so that has a bigger effect on the environment in the long run. Secondly, the battery. The batteries don't last forever. The batteries are like any other lithium ion battery. They depreciate with age, and they don't work as well in the cold. And when they get seven, eight, nine years old, they're completely done for. You can still drive your car on gas, but who wants to spend seven to ten thousand dollars to replace a battery in your car when every other part of your car seems to be fine? What if you were buying a used one that was a few years old and was getting close to the time to buy a battery? The battery may be worth as much or more than the car is worth. So all the money you saved on driving it with lower gasoline costs, especially if you were city driving, didn't save anything in the long run because how much money your battery cost. Driving a diesel vehicle that was fuel efficient would have been a much better idea. Another pet peeve about those vehicles are that many of them have more horsepower, total combined horsepower, gas and electric together, than the gas version of the vehicle it replaces. I think that's dumb. If you want to sell an energy efficient vehicle, or at least one you're claiming to be much more efficient, why should its total power output be greater than uh, the gas version? I think it should be a little bit less because I'm conservative. Sure, power sells, but here it's economy that's supposed to be selling. Now imagine the maintenance. I'm sure with all the electronic systems on those vehicles and the electric motor and modified transmission and so on and so on, regenerative braking, replacing the battery, who knows what, these vehicles are going to cost more to maintain over their lifetime. And of course, much of this is very sophisticated stuff with back, which backyard guys like me have no training or experience with. So you may end up having to take it to the dealer for all those complicated problems it may have in the future. And, well, dealers charge anywhere from $80 to $100 an hour, so that sucks. My advice is spend a few thousand dollars more if you want to buy an extra, more fuel-efficient vehicle and buy something like a Volkswagen product that has very efficient diesel in it. The new diesels now, for example, Volkswagen's little diesels have 140 horsepower with gobs of torque, so they're fairly quick, they're extremely fuel-efficient, and they don't cost more than hybrid vehicles. They cost less than hybrid vehicles. They have less maintenance because diesels last longer and the rest of the car is basic technology. They're clean burning diesels. They're very clean burning diesels, not like the old ones that belch out black smoke and high nitrous oxide emissions. So they are quite friendly to the environment. And their resale value is very good, they, especially when they get older because they have no battery to wear out. And if you're doing a lot of long distance or highway driving, a diesel far gets better fuel economy than a hybrid because a hybrid isn't using electricity to drive in the highway. A hybrid is only a fair bit more efficient when it's being driven regularly in the city. So you have to think about the type of use you're going to have. So they are what they claim, but there's a little bit of red tape and strings attached to them that you got to all understand before you decide to make the the decision to purchase a fuel efficient small diesel vehicle or a hybrid vehicle. And some of the vehicles, like for example General Motors is advertising now, their regular gasoline powered small SUVs are more efficient than the hybrid Ford Escapes and stuff like that. So direct injection technology and some gasoline technologies are actually catching up to hybrid now. Keep watching. Sorry I've been busy lately and not many blogs, like at least for two weeks, but there's more to come.